Okay, so what we have here is my brother's truck, my daughter, my daughter-in-law, and a 55 gallon drum of water that's been sitting in my garage on the concrete slab filled with tap water from a garden hose five years ago. This has not been opened and I maintain that you don't have to ever rotate water if you get it from a potable water source. In other words, it's already been treated, chlorinated, and so forth. So, we're going to see if I'm right or wrong. Now, it took quite a bit of work for me to get this barrel from that location, just inches away, and it's going to take probably all three of us to get it back, because this thing weighs a lot. Water is eight pounds a gallon. We got 55 gallons here, so you do the math, it's a lot. One thing I did notice when I pulled this out is that this bung is cracked and as you can see I've got water all around here so this has not been airtight for five years because it's this bung is, um, is was uh, torn up uh, when I bought it and I thought it was alright but obviously you can see it's cracked it was not sealing did not seal properly so we're gonna open this up for the very first time in five years we're gonna use this pump weight pump and I'll have a link below if you want to get this. The reason why I use this is because I don't want to use one of those little squeeze bottle things that'll take forever to get things going. So we'll see what, how this works. I've got my two daughters here to verify that there's no monkey business going on. I'm going to a preparedness presentation tonight and so we're going to take a sample of this water and put it directly into that five gallon bucket so people can see the sample that we have. Mrs. LDS Prepper just came out with Lily. Hey there, Lily. Say hi to YouTube. Hey there. Lily is my daughter's Yorkie. As you know, many of you know that our Yorkie died several months ago, and three of our children all bought Yorkies. Hey there, Lily. She's adorable. We also have another one we could bring out, too. But we digress. All right, this is a tool, um, I, it's very handy. I like it because it takes lids off of 55, uh, off of five gallon buckets very easily. It has the gas uh, connection on off doohickey right here. And then this is set to take off bung. So it's several tools in one. I'll have a link below for this, but this is a great solid tool. And I just keep it right here on top of my 55 gallon drum so I always know where it is. All right, so I replaced this this morning when I was uh, with that, so it wouldn't spill when we were moving it. We were originally going to put it in a pickup truck and take it to the meeting. It just weighs too much, so we are just going to take off this replacement bung here and use this big siphon hose. I have no idea how much dust is in there. This too has been sitting here for about five years. And the instructions say just to screw this in here. All right, that is screwed in. I'm going to place this. Would you? Hold that into the bucket for me, please. Okay. Yeah, just hold hold the hose there. I'm putting the tube in the water. And that's all the way down to the bottom of the 55 gallon drum. And we can zoom in on the bucket and see what kind of water we get coming out of here. One pump and water can flow immediately. Nice. Beautiful, yay! <laughs> Clean water. I was right for once. No, I right. Okay, so back out here so you can see the pump action. This is why I like this. I get a lot of water very quickly from the pump. Okay, I haven't uh, lubricated the pump like it says to do, so you see a little bit of leakage here. I just took this out of the box. It's the first time it's come out. But yes. We're getting great water uh, coming down through this. So we do not need to filter, to rotate, 
to do anything with wa this water. This water was perfectly clear, even though it had a cracked bung on it. Now, what we should really do is taste test it. Okay, just so you can see, I'm getting the water from the bucket here and bringing it up. Let's see what this tastes like. Tastes like plastic. Tastes like plastic. Okay. So it definitely has a plastic taste. Campfire. Is it? <laughs> Uh, is it drinkable? I, I would say so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll know in a, what, 30 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it does have a little taste to it. If you, uh, it wasn't flat. I was expecting it to have a flat taste because it's been sitting there for five years, but it didn't have a flat taste. If it does have a flat taste, just take another bucket here and just kind of uh, dump the water from one bucket to the other and back and forth a few times. That'll aerate it. So anyway, it's been sitting on concrete. We don't have a concrete flavor from it. Would you agree with that? Yes. Okay, no concrete flavor. Maybe a plastic flavor. Completely clean. Not flat. That's really good. Definitely usable. So if you want to have perfectly clean water, and maybe you want to exchange it because it might have a plastic flavor to it, but that's, uh, I mean, it's really not, a, not an issue. Uh, would you agree, girls? Yes. And uh, it works. So feel free to rotate your water. But the bottom line is you don't need to throw away perfectly good water that's been sitting in your water barrels for, for five years or ten years or twenty years. It's very, very, very important to have water. And more important than having water stored is have water filtration because there's probably water around you, there's probably ditches, water reservoirs, swimming pools, ponds, lakes, and those are all water resources that you can get using a five gallon bucket. But once you have that water, you need to have a way to filter it. I highly recommend that you view my water filtration and purification video if you haven't already, and, and where I compare several different high-end water filters and give my opinion on what I think is the best. If you want to get additional resources to these items, the pump away pump, the bung, and watch my video on the water filter comparison, check the links below. All right, if you do want to rotate your water, you're going to have to move it if you're under shelves like I am here. Obviously, I didn't want to stack these for sure, and I didn't want to lose all the space above here. So I have the shelves above. So I have to kind of get out underneath and, and in order to get to the water. I do have the bung space so I can just kind of slide it out a little bit and put the, the siphon on it. All right, so let's see if I can move this. Okay, so use it in place, empty it without moving it, but I wouldn't recommend trying to move it with water in it. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you don't rotate your water, you don't have to move it.